Wanted Best Friend by A. M. Munson. Pictures by Lynn Munsinger. Cat and Mouse sat at the table. They were playing checkers. The two played the game so often that Cat sometimes made up new rules. That's it, said Cat. I won. He set up the checkers for another game. That's the third time you won, complained Mouse. Let's play Crazy Eights now. I hate Crazy Eights, said Cat. You take forever to decide which card to play. But when we play crazy, it's I win sometimes," said Mouse. He folded his arms across his chest. Either we play crazy eights or I go home. All right," said Cat. "Go home. I find somebody else to play with me." Fine," said Mouse. He picked up his hat and left. Cat scratched his head. How would he find another friend? Suddenly, he had an idea. He grabbed a piece of paper and pencil. He wrote, "Wanted best friend must like to play games. See cat immediately." Then he called the Hollow Log Gazette. Two days later, there was a knock at Cat's door. "Did you advertise for a friend?" asked Mole. "Yes," answered Cat. "Come in." He hoped Mole liked to play checkers as much as he did. "How about some munchies?" asked Mole. "Help yourself," said Cat. Mole disappeared into the kitchen. When he came out, he was carrying a can of soda, a jar of peanut butter, crackers, bananas, an ice cream bar, and a bag of pretzels. The can of soda tumbled to the floor. Mole kicked it toward the table. Ah,、uh, said Mole. He tossed the banana peel over his shoulder. Now I'm ready to play. Cat moved his checker first. Mole stuffed his mouth with crackers and peanut butter. Your turn, said Cat. Mole dumped all the pretzels onto the table, then moved his playing piece. Cat smiled. He jumped over Mole's checker using his own. Oh dear! Said Cat. His fingers sank into a gluey glob of peanut butter when he touched Mole's checker. Time for a drink, said Mole. No wait, said Cat. But he was too late. Orange soda sprayed from the can into Cat's face. This will not do, said Cat. He raced for a towel. You can't be a slob and be my best friend. Cat avoided Mole's sticky fingers and led him by the arm out of the house. He just finished cleaning up Mole's mess when he heard another knock at the door. Did you advertise for a friend? Asked Autumn. He carried a large and bumpy duffel bag. Yes, I did. Said Cat. Come in. I have everything we need to have fun. Said Otter. He unzipped the bag: baseball, basketball, softball, football, and soccer balls. But I like to play checkers," said Cat. Balls bounce around his feet. Boring," said Otter. "These games are a lot more fun. Watch." He grabbed the basketball and tossed it into a lampshade. Two points," he yelled. Cat raced to steady the wobbling lamp. A football sailed past his head and through the rabbit ears of the television. Touchdown!" cheered Otter. "No more," said Cat. But he was too late. Otter kicked the soccer ball into the fireplace. Goal! cried Otter. This will not do," said Cat. He stamped out sparks. You can't burn my house down and be my best friend. He made Otter pick up all the balls, then showed him to the door. Cat was eating lunch while he heard another knock. I do hope that's Mouse, and that he comes back to play. Cat ran to the door. That kid is a name, and skateboarding is my game. I don't know how to ride a skateboard," said Cat. "Nothing to it," said Raccoon. He dropped two skateboards on the ground. "Get on." But I like to play checkers," said Cat. "I think you're scared," said Raccoon. "I'm not," lied Cat. He closed and locked the door behind him. He put one foot on the skateboard, then the other. Raccoon gave a big push and sent Cat flying down the sidewalk. How do I stop? cried Cat. Put your foot down, called Raccoon. Cat didn't hear. His skateboard raced toward a busy street. Jump! yelled Raccoon. Cat closed his eyes and jumped. Crash, cling, squish. Cat landed in the middle of the neighbor's garbage. Raccoon laughed at him. Ha ha ha! This will not do, said Cat. He pulled his foot out of a garbage can. You can't laugh at me and be my best friend. He hobbled toward home. He plopped in his big stuffed chair. If Mouse had a phone, I would call and invite him back.、But、suddenly, he had an idea. He grabbed a piece of paper and pencil. He wrote, "Mouse, please come back. Willing to play Crazy Eights, Cat?" 
Then he called the hollow log gazette. Two days later, there was a knock at Cat's door. Mouse, said Cat, I'm so happy to see you. He led his friend to the table. I'm thirsty, said Mouse. He disappeared into the kitchen and then returned with a glass of water. Cat watched Mouse set the glass on a napkin. You're so tidy, said Cat. Thank you, said Mouse. And you never throw things around my house, said Cat. Wouldn't dream of it, said Mouse. And you don't skateboard, said Cat. Too dangerous for a klutz like me, answered Mouse. Cat smiled. Mouse, he said, you're my kind of best friend. And the two of them began to play Crazy Eights. The End <laughs>